today is the first day that I'm going on a drive by myself. I am excited. I'm not even nervous. Honestly, I was praying this whole time and I'm like, Lord, please protect me. Please be with me. But it's time for me to get myself a little Dunkin' breakfast. And it's kind of like a seven minute drive. It's not that far from here, but it's the first time I'm going to do it alone. So I'm excited. I am not going to take you guys with me just because I want to concentrate. But I'll definitely tell you guys how I did. And my biggest concern is just parking. I'm not the best parker yet, but I will practice by myself and get in and out the car. I think that's the only way I'm going to learn when someone else is telling me to do it. I don't really know why they're telling me to do a certain thing because I can't really figure it out, but I think I kind of figured it out now and it's early. There's not much people out, so I think it's a perfect time to get that practice in. So I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, but I'm not really nervous. So I will see you guys in a little bit and fingers crossed everything goes well and I make it back home safely. <laughs> I'm so dramatic, but see you guys later when I'm having my Dunkin' breakfast. You guys, I made it back safely. I'm so happy. <laughs> it was great. My parking was actually really good. I secured the Dunkin' breakfast. This is really what I wanted to go for. And honestly, it doesn't look nothing like the picture. It tastes okay. Not the best. This is like the coconut refresher, the pink lemonade. No, the pink strawberry coconut refresher is this one. And then I just got like a sandwich from them. But it's okay. I would rate it probably a 6 out of 10. Definitely is not worth the hype or I don't even know if there's hype around this, but it's okay. I'm to share with you guys an exciting package i mean i've had it already i already took out a roll from here but i got coffee from my nespresso machine you guys and i have come to the conclusion hold on let me take it out So I'm convinced that Bianca Allegro is my absolute favorite pods for the Nespresso machine. Again, I have the Nespresso Virtual Plus. It's the one that comes with the actual frother and it's the best, but my favorite flavor is Bianca Allegro. That is definitely my favorite flavor of all times. I use it to make iced coffee. I haven't tasted it hot just yet, but it's springtime then summer, so I just drink iced coffee. That has been like the best. So they finally brought it in stock. So I did stock up. I got like six or seven of them or probably more. I don't know. But this is all Bianca Leguero in here. And I'm obsessed with it so much. It just tastes so delicious. I'm going to show you guys how I make it. Super simple. But I also did want to try out some new ones. These are also meant to be iced. That's why they're in the blue packaging. I want to try one. Now I'm like curious. But I'll probably do it tomorrow so I can just show you guys how I've been doing my Bianca Leguero one. The best. I got this super cute cup at Dunkin's and I just move this thing because with this it doesn't fit oh I actually gotta wash it with this it doesn't fit so I just move it and I'm gonna put in my pod but I do have to restock because we only have two left and I have some more in here this cupboard that I gotta organize these are all of my empty pods I believe you can send them back just not I haven't figured out how to use it but you can tell I have been obsessed and there's more like in the back back there but I'm gonna show you guys how I make it just gonna refill these pods really quick quick so i don't like to add any additional sugar to my coffee so the way i get my sweetness in my coffee is with the caramel so this is the caramel sauce that i use absolutely love it i just put it around the cup so i do it like that so that it's around the edges and i've seen this is how they do it at like starbucks and stuff so i'm just copying them And while that starts pouring, I move on to frothing my milk. This one's good, but for some reason, I feel like this one froths my oat milk much better because I do oat milk lattes instead of like regular milk or almond milk. I prefer oat milk, so I use this one. I mean, I can use this one too. I guess we'll just, I wanna show you guys that this one foams it much better, but I do have to do it like two or three times. Please. Smell it. I mean, just look at the foam of this coffee in here. Oh my god, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so so delicious. And since I'm having iced coffee, I do it and I let it sit for a little bit while I make the milk. So I have my fridge open here because I wanted to show you guys. I'm like crazy with coffee recently. I've been going crazy. So these are some of my favorites. I haven't tried this one yet. I haven't tried the one in the back. My all-time favorite creamer. And then if they don't have this one or if I don't find it or I run out, I use a Starbucks. This one, the Starbucks 
caramel creamer which is really good but I stocked up on these because they're so good and then I'm always stocked up on some milk as well this one right here is my favorite the Oatly barista edition so good but I think I need to pull out both because this one's almost done one of these are almost done so I gotta fill that up and if I'm feeling extra and I want some extra whip I just put some of this one on top today I'm gonna pass on putting whipped cream I, I could not use the extra sugar Now my coffee is officially ready to go so I can enjoy it with my breakfast. My hair is falling kind of weird. I feel like it still hasn't taken its shape. But I'm thinking about driving for a little bit. I'm going to get my breakfast and probably do some laps around like the area just so I can get familiar. And then I'll see you guys later because I have to film today. I have to film a makeup look for Instagram. So see you guys in a little bit. And I took a little nail break. I went to do my nails and I know you guys want to see how I do my nails and I'm so bad because I haven't done it I am actually experimenting with poly gel again and I love love poly gel so much more it's so much funner now in the beginning I struggled doing poly gel but now I absolutely love it and I found my niche like I found my way of doing it and I am completely obsessed with my nails so I didn't really redo the nails I just filed them down and added some blue glittery color just reminds me of like the summer the water the ocean and that was the vibe that I was feeling today and I also went shorter because yesterday I was doing my taxes I'm that person that unfortunately waits till last minute and I was doing my taxes and it was really annoying doing like the numbers and stuff and this is in like my computer and like all the typing and all of the like numbers work because my nails were so long so I knew that today I wanted to file them down and I didn't know I was gonna change the color but then I got inspired I was like ooh let's just go loud let's go bold and so I love this blue speck glitter situation so much because I want to wear these glasses which I showed you guys I think yesterday let me grab them they're literally so beautiful and they match my nails perfectly and so I want to do just like a quick makeup look so I want to take an Instagram picture with like my nails matching my glasses who's calling me? Hola! Hola. What are you doing? I just got home. Espera. ¿Cómo fue? A ver. I was gonna go for a drive to Home Sense. You want to go at like 6 30 in like an hour? Get up and eat. Vámonos. I'm gonna drive though. You're gonna come in my Jeep. Epstein's coming. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna do a quick makeup look, like just an everyday makeup look so that I look a little presentable, you know? And I am going to fast forward this, time lapse this, because let me move you guys back a little bit because I feel like we were a little too close. But I'm gonna go to Home Sense and then I'm gonna go bike riding because that's just the plan for today. And I'm also watching the circle finale. So this is the after show apparently. So that's what I'm gonna do while I do my makeup. Answers all the, the questions right in the basketball quiz. <laughs> i 
is now done i did something simple like i said i was recording but then the sun started to set and so i just stopped recording because you guys were not i was like so overexposed but this is the final look super simple again just wanted to post with these eyeglasses because they're so stinking cute i love them so much definitely out of my comfort zone to like wear such a bright color because i'm such a like nude neutral person but for the summer and the spring i was like you know what i'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and style my glasses and go with like a colorful pair of glasses so these are my favorite i'll link them down below for you guys and i'm gonna take my picture so we can go to home sense and see what we find made it to home sense and here's what i have in my cart so far i found these really cute plant things i'm thinking of putting either pompous grass or like some greenery and then i found outdoor pillows which is so exciting so i want to switch it up from the ones that i had last year and then they have so many row blankets to choose from i don't know which one i want to go that kind of like matches with it so they have a lot of different textures and stuff so i don't know and this size is really nice because it's 16.99 for like the huge thing and they're water resistant i'm very very excited and look at all of the options and the summer colors i love this is totally me my boho vibes this is where i get like my pillows from if i don't find them on amazon and they're so nice this is really cute i'm trying to see if i could find like a throw pillow i don't know oh no my battery's gonna die all right just kidding guys i will talk to you in a bit because my battery's gonna die today is the day i get to do my patio I'm so excited you guys have no idea I'm trying not to show you too much of like the outside because just for privacy reasons but today's the day I get to do the patio and I have an idea in mind the egg chair has to come out here and I'm planning on ending the night watching a movie since it's so beautiful outside so we're gonna end it out with a really nice movie out here but that means that I have a lot of work to do these shelves are pretty dirty I have not touched this all year basically well all like winter i have to clean this the floors are really yucky and nasty so i need to mop the floor i have to vacuum the rug and i have to deep clean this table which we should have covered and we didn't so it's like falling apart on us but i did get a really cute runner so i'm excited about that but yeah this is clearly the before and i'm excited for this space to be functional now because the weather is now warmer and i'm excited so Let's get to vacuuming first. So I vacuumed for the most part. I mean, we have a little leaf here. The dogs came out here and disrespected this. They peed, so we have to definitely mop. Yeah, so I'm gonna just go ahead and wipe this down. I just don't know if I want to keep it out here because now I'm going to have an egg chair. I don't want it to be crowded, but I want it to be cozy. So you do have to be intentional with the pieces and where you place them in order for it not to look cluttered, but cozy. So yeah, I'm going to use this, the Target Method Anti-Back All-Purpose Cleaner. And we're just going to go crazy cleaning this because it's super filthy, like super filthy. So I'm going to do that. update mopping has been successful i mopped all of the corners i didn't record that because i don't have much memory space so i'm trying to just capture the important stuff so cleaning was done i just have to deep clean all of these leaves one by one because they have a lot of that greenness and then i also have to do the chairs all of the chairs the table and the bench which i'm working on right now so i'm just spraying this i ran out of spray already so i have to get a different one but i'm gonna just spray it look at all the nasties stuff that was in here i'm gonna go get the cushions so once everything is deeply clean i can start decorating which is gonna be my favorite part and then my husband's working on bringing the egg chair so this egg chair unfortunately doesn't fit through this door so we have to unbuild it and then rebuild it which is not fun so I did a terrible job vlogging this whole like patio transformation, but I am gonna update you guys on what it looks like right now. And the dogs are making so much noise. So let me just quickly show you before it gets too dark. Here is what the space is looking like, which I'm so excited. This is the only area that I'm not crazy about, so we will figure out the situation for that. But I'm obsessed with the mirror here. Lots of outdoor mirror selfies coming your way. <laughs> and then of course the movie screen, the TV, I mean the TV, the table. I put these arrangements, these are so cute. 
cute got them at home sense and i just added some greenery just to make like a little statement i am not crazy about this wood so i'm gonna look for a cloth that will look nice maybe like a solid one and then put this over it i don't know i also need more pillows because we apparently use them all inside the house and i put this little rug here as a little runner and then moving over towards this side i have the double shelf which i'm gonna get some stuff to decorate and then the egg chair which i love so much it looks so cute again it's hard to show you guys without like exposing myself but this is what it looks like so far so i just baked some cookies my husband and my mother-in-law she came over well my husband didn't come over because we're married <laughs> But I just finished baking some cookies. These are actually so delicious. Let me put you guys on really quick. Let me see. All right, let me put you on. So this is what I made. These are the Sweet Lauren chocolate chunk cookies. And what I like about them is that they're gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, and it has no peanut or tree nuts in case you're allergic to that. So for me, I feel less guilty because I can still get a bomb chocolate chip cookie without all the extra stuff, you know? And then we also did the fudgy brownie one from the same brand as well. So good. You can find it at Whole Foods and Target. So get them because I think you will like it. It tastes so delicious and they're not as much calorie either compared to like the regular Pillsbury one which I haven't made so I have been loving them so we're gonna eat some cookies enjoy the movie night enjoy the patio and finally done so you guys ready to see the final review of the patio because i'm obsessed i love just hanging out here and just having a good time so without further ado let's go right into showing you guys the final look of the patio Alrighty guys, and this is the final view of the patio. This has quickly become my favorite corner. This is the little love seat that I was showing you guys earlier in the video. I wasn't sure how to decorate it so that it can fit my style and how I like. I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be very cozy, and that's exactly what I did. I added a tray, throw pillows, throw bl blankets, and I feel like it made the perfect corner. And of course, the mirror, which I love so much. And when you're here, you can look at the screen, which got dirty because it's been raining for the last couple of days but we can wash that no big deal but it's perfect for when we're watching the movie night and these are the pillows that we bought that day in home sense that i was showing you guys and the blanket as well as this rug and the cushions i actually went back for the cushions the following day and i found these cushions only thing is these bottom ones don't have it but it's okay i just use the pillows that i have because you can't really see it you can't really tell and this is the runner that i got from home sense i just made a hole so that it could be right in the middle so that the umbrella could fit which you actually got a nine feet umbrella because this patio is actually pretty big on camera it looks kind of cramped up but it's pretty big so we got a nine feet umbrella so it can cover majority of it because the dogs are basically dying when they're out here since it's so hot so we wanted to provide as much shade possible and this is the giant tree i was telling you guys about it is huge of course there's no no table without a tray or there's no space without a tray i love trays because you can put as many little knickknacks as you want but because it's in a confined space and you can like rearrange it however you want it still looks nice and organized Organized. I love these beads from Amazon. They're so cute. They just add more texture to the space So that is the dining table. Well, that is the patio table This is where sometimes I come out here to do work I come out here to just relax and chill and I love this space so much It's so nice Especially having a huge umbrella because you can still get some of that warmth without literally baking and cooking in the Sun So that is my favorite moving on to this space, which is also my favorite space as well it's just a little harder to show you guys but definitely a whole lot of greenery in these shelves i love it so much i was able to make these shelves work and stay in this space i just feel like the more greenery the more summer vibes it gives me and it just gives me summer vibes i mean there's just green all over us so it's perfect so it matches perfectly i got this one from home sense as well such a beautiful little plant in the planter so cute it was super affordable too i think it was like 40 bucks for the whole thing and if you try to find one of those pots on amazon 
Amazon, they're like 50, 60 and up. So I was really lucky to find a really different style of plant. I'm not a plant mom or anything like that. So I don't know any of these plants are, but I think it's like a fig leaf tree, something. I don't know. I'm not even gonna make pretend like I know, but I love it because it was a different style of plant compared to that one. And then of course you need a blanket when you're out here because sometimes it gets really cold. So we have a lot of blankets. We have one here. We have one on the egg chair. We have one on the love seat as well. So this really big basket also is from HomeSense and the blanket is, it's huge. So sometimes when I wanna be on the egg chair and it's way too hot, I just put the blanket over my egg chair so that I can be in like a little cocoon and it's the best. I can stay there all day. And then I just put the puffer little thing that's from Target by the way. I put it here and I kick my feet up and it's just such a vibe. Read a book, listen to some music, a podcast, Audible, whatever you wanna do. It's just nice and cozy in there. And then this side table I actually ended up bringing because I redid my filming room. So I took this table out and it looks better out here because it's bigger. The one that I had here was super, super teeny tiny, didn't even hold my coffee cup when I was here. So this is so much better because I have more space to do more things. I love this egg chair by the way because it rotates like all the way around. And so if I want to look this way, I totally can. Or if I want to watch the movie, I totally can as well. And then last but not least is this rug that I also got that day at HomeSense. It's like $40 you guys. It's so beautiful. I love it because it matches and it ties down with the theme of everything So I love it so much. It's so beautiful and the dogs are always like rolling around on this rug But it's so nice and comfortable and so that is the overview of the patio. That is all for today's video Thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoy this style of video Make sure you leave me a comment down below and you comment the secret emoji so you guys can be entered for my monthly giveaways and I'll see you guys later on this week for another video. Mwah. Bye.